Chicken of the woods. Let's talk about chicken of the woods. Oh my God, so good. I was talking to someone last night about, you know, I get this question a lot. What's your favorite mushroom? You know, people are here, I'm a mushroom farmer, I forage for mushrooms, and they're always like, oh my gosh, what's your favorite mushroom? And I said, a really young, tender, fresh chicken of the woods. Um, it is just so juicy and succulent and uh, incredible mushroom to eat. Um, it's also known as the sulfur shelf, um, referring to its bright orange and yellow pores or white pores. A uh, very bright, vibrant mushroom that you find in the forest. Um, Latoporus sulfurus or Latoporus cincinnatus is the Latin name. Um, and it's a mushroom that I haven't yet been able to cultivate successfully. And most people um, don't know how to grow it. And there aren't uh, consistent production methods to cultivate this mushroom. So um, we're left with an interesting uh, piece there where it's this amazing mushroom that everyone wants to eat and no way of growing it, right? So um, we're exploring how to cultivate it and there's a lot of spawn providers that are trying to work with how do we reliably grow this mushroom, chicken of the woods. And um, I've seen a couple of farms successfully fruit it off of inoculated logs. So by inoculating a la shiitake method where you drill and fill the logs with plug spawn, seal them and let them sit for two or three years, um, the chicken of the woods has fruited. Um, so we are going to start offering plug spawn as well on our website and uh, people can experiment with this mushroom to see um, if you can get it to fruit in your backyard. Um, one thing that I've seen is that it takes a little bit longer to fruit. Um, so it's, it's, it's not fruiting you know, in a year like shiitake, but sometimes two years later. Um, and the other thing is it's nowhere near as reliable. So um, this mushroom is a little bit more of an experimental mushroom. Um, and the different strains and varieties of this mushroom are, we're still working with and other growers are working with to try and find a, a reliable fruiting um, strain that people can, can be growing on. Um, I pretty much always find this mushroom on oak or uh, maple. So those are the kinds of woods, wood that you would want to use if you were trying to uh, cultivate this mushroom on, on logs. Um, yeah, but it's a really tasty mushroom. If you haven't found it out in the wild here in the Northeast, uh, it fruits anywhere from May through October. So keep your eyes out for that bright orange um, uh, thing in the forest. Uh, it grows off of um, the shelf, so it grows right off of the edge of a, a tree and can grow in really large quantities. Um, I think one thing that would be great to do is if there's ever a fallen oak, like a storm damaged oak that's going to be left, um, to inoculate that with plug spawn could be a great, great option for uh, growing abundant uh, quantities of chicken in the woods for a long period of, of time. Um, so hope you get to develop a relationship with this mushroom and check out our website fungially.com if you want to experiment with the plug spawn. Thanks.